Hi, this is Rachel from Full Swing Tennis. Today we're going to go through the backhand punch volley. So this is ideal if you're just starting to learn volleys. So we want to start with our continental grip, which is that index knuckle on that top corner bevel. So you want to start in the ready position. And then step one, we're just going to pivot and turn. So toes are pointing to the side fence and our racket's up nice and high and out in front of our body. So you want to keep the non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket and you want to keep this elbow up nice and high. And the racket head is also up high around your head and shoulders. And then step two, we're just going to take our back foot and step toward the net. And as we step, we're going to punch the ball. So we let go with that non-hitting hand. And it's a slight little follow through as you contact the ball. And then step four, you just want to get back in the ready position. So again, start in the ready position, just pivot and turn, step and punch, and then get back ready to hit the next shot. So I recommend hitting this stroke with one hand instead of two hands. So you often see people hitting with two hands, and I think one of the reasons why they do that is because they don't feel like their wrist is strong enough to hit with one hand. And I think one of the reasons why they don't feel like their wrist is strong enough is because they're using an eastern forehand grip instead of that continental grip. So if you can, really try and practice with the continental grip, and as you practice, your wrist will get stronger. And if you know that you're not one of those people who will practice and hit hundreds and hundreds of balls over and over again, then I guess you can go ahead and use two hands. But it's really difficult if you're starting out hitting two hands to go back to a one-hander. And eventually it's going to be really difficult to improve your volleys if you're using two hands. So that's the foundations of the backhand punch volley. So eventually you want to go on to learn the block volley and the drop volley and the swing volley. But if you can just practice those four basic steps and develop a really great touch shot. So if you have any questions please email me and thanks again for watching fullswingtennis.com.